this feels so weird hi guys welcome back to my channel I know it has been a long time I want to say it's been right around a month since the last video that I posted but it's been even longer than that because those the last couple of videos have been pre-recorded but um so I went to Burger King today for lunch I wanted to get some tacos and take it home and do like a sit down in my kitchen mukbang but that didn't happen I was out a little bit later just a little bit of an update so I wanted I wanted so bad to start filming as soon as I got back from vacation those of you who have been following me know that I went on vacation for Christmas I was there for a few weeks and I got back New Year's Eve in the evening so I made it just in time to celebrate with my family so I got back and I wanted to film right away but my brother had an accident he was pretty much in the hospital for a week so basically he pr he couldn't walk it was kind of scary but yeah so I was dealing with that and I just want to thank you guys for subscribing to my channel for all of the new subscribers and I just want to say hi and thank you guys so much for subscribing and watching my videos and yeah so this intro has already been a few minutes long so I'm just gonna get right into eating it is raining right now I live in Oregon so I gotta deal with it um, I am in my car obviously let me show you guys what I got so I ended up spending twelve dollars and eight cents um, and we don't pay tax here in Oregon I got chicken fries They look like I got some fries I got the the Whopper combo oh my god did you guys I hope you guys saw Snoopy eat his last video that he posted I watched it yesterday oh my god it had five patties on it I was like dang that's a lot of meat if you guys don't know who Snoopy Eats is, go check out his channel. His last video, he did a, a Whopper with five patties, the Whopper challenge. I never heard of it, so I don't know if it's something he's doing himself or if other people have done it before. But he talked about doing the 10, the 10 patty Whopper challenge. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of beef. And I got some ranch. Alright, so I got the Whopper with cheese. Okay, so they did put cheese on it. I just got to make sure that it has no mayonnaise. Ta-da! Yes, no mayonnaise. And no onions. Alright. Let me give you guys a close-up. It has lettuce, tomato, cheese, and pickles with some ketchup. And one patty. I'm hungry. I've been shopping all morning. Grocery shopping, that is. Let me give you guys a bite. Mmm. My windows are fogging up. I'm doing a juice cleanse starting tomorrow. So I went grocery shopping this morning just to get groceries for the house and then to get everything, stock up on everything for my three day juice cleanse. I look horrible, guys. I have no makeup on. I was supposed to work out this morning, but that didn't happen. New year, new me. Or no, new year, same me. 
But anyways, I'm going to be doing a juice cleanse for three days. And the reason why I'm doing it is because ever since I got back from Mexico, <clears throat> my stomach has been, after I eat, no matter whether it's healthy or, you know, junk, after I eat, I feel nauseous, like, or I'm, or I'm gassy. I'm sorry if it's TMI. If you guys are eating with me, I'm sorry. But I just don't feel good. I feel nauseous. Sometimes I feel gassy or like indigestion or heartburn. And I usually don't get heartburn. And I eat a lot of spicy food. I eat a lot of acidic, like vinegary foods. And ever since I got back from Mexico, it's like, I don't know if it's because, you know, I was there for two weeks. I didn't really eat out. Like, yeah, I went to little taco stands, but everything there is, like, freshly grown. We stayed in a little town. We didn't stay in the big city. We stayed in my husband's hometown. But I'm going to, that's a whole other story, a whole other video. I really want to tell you guys about my vacation. But anyways, so, yeah, I'm going to be doing a three-day juice cleanse to hopefully, hopefully, like, detox and... kind of just reset my digestive system. I've been thinking about actually filming it. I like food too much. The wrong kind of food. <clears throat> if you guys follow my Instagram, which by the way, it's Angela. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's Angela underscore eats. Or no, I changed it. It's Angela underscore Marie underscore Lopez. If you go all the way down, you'll see that I posted like a lot of like fitness type motivation posts, pictures. That was back when I lost. I was at my highest weight, which I don't think I have any pictures at my highest weight. But from the time I started, like, actually taking it seriously, um, I lost... I got all the way down to 218. Which is still, you know, pretty overweight. It's really overweight. <clears throat> and I'm not feeling my best. And this doesn't help. But, I know. A lot of you, I'm going to get some comments. Probably rude comment, but whatever. So, this is so good. To drink, I got just soda water. I started drinking soda water in Mexico a lot. I didn't really like the Coke down there. Mm. 
and make sure my door is locked. The Coke was good, but I felt like it wasn't carbonated enough. And that's what I look for in, ooh, excuse me. That's what I look for in a soda, is that bubbly carbonation, you know? That's mostly the reason why I drink soda. So, I started drinking, excuse me, I started drinking mineral water down there. That was the last bite. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> when I was, like, really focused and motivated on losing weight, I juiced a lot. I would juice and make smoothies. Those would be my first two meals of the day. It would either be a juice or or a smoothie and then for dinner I tried to eat healthy but and I think that's what helped me to lose some of the weight but yeah lately I have been like craving like fruits and vegetables just raw fruits and vegetables Madison you're gonna love to hear this this is she's vegan if you don't know who Madison Mukbang is go check her out she's vegan she does amazing videos I went raw vegan for a good three months. Or I guess technically raw plant-based. And I loved it. The only thing is I just couldn't stick with it. I would get really bad headaches. I followed freely the banana girl. So I would eat a lot of bananas. And then she started the raw tail four. So then I would start doing raw tail four. So I'd eat raw vegan for breakfast and lunch. And then for dinner I'd have whatever type of cooked vegan meal. When I started doing that. I started gaining weight so I stopped doing it and then I just went back to eating like healthy chicken and vegetables and rice that was when I was losing weight <clears throat> but and I've always like had it in the back of my mind it'd be awesome if I could just be vegan It stopped raining. I don't know how many. I feel like this is. These are really salty. I haven't had these in a long time. Three, six, seven, eight. There's eight left. I don't know how many come in an order, so I don't know how many I ate, but I'm gonna stop eating those because they're so salty. It's like hurting my tongue. But I do still have some fries left. I just got my eyebrows waxed, so they're like red and they're like itchy. I don't know, my skin's irritated right now. So, I have a few request videos that I'm going to be doing. I know it's been a, long, a while. So, I won't be making any mukbangs for the next three days. Today's Thursday. You guys will be seeing this. These are really salty too. Man. Do you guys see that? Like, look how much salt is on there. My tongue is like burning. It's so salty. So I was thinking about vlogging the three days that I juice, that I'm gonna be juicing. Um, but possibly open, opening up a second channel. But I also don't want to ne neglect this channel because this channel, you know, is mukbangs, eating, mukbang eating shows. 
I mean, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. So I probably won't see you guys for a few days. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment down below. Leave me a message what you guys would like to see me eat next. What else is there? You guys, it has been so long since I, since I filmed a video, I forgot. Comment down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for over 400 subscribers. It really means a lot. I appreciate every one of you and I love interacting with you guys in the comments. Um, yeah, so give your girl some love. Hit that like button, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. It was so good eating with you guys, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!